Well, I think if you look at joining the statute, we now have 111 countries. Bangladesh ratified recently. And in a way, it's an amazing achievement because if I think back to 1998 when the statute was adopted, many people, including myself, thought it would take a long time before the necessary ratifications came into place for the court to be established. Yet it was done within just a few years. So 111 is a very good start. Well, I think there's a, there's a big perception issue not to have three of the permanent five um, joining the court, particularly since the court can, since the Security Council can refer cases to the court, and it creates the perception of uh, or underlines or, or or emphasizes this this concern that some people have about unequal justice. That is. Uh, that the small states are subject to the ICC and larger countries are not. So I think it's important to bring those countries on board. We have the issue of complementarity will be discussed. I think this is a key issue for the court. It is really the key issue of how the court works for the future because at the end of the day, relatively small numbers will be prosecuted in the, in the Hague at the ICC and we need to strengthen domestic uh, prosecutorial and criminal justice capacities. So how the, the, the issue of complementarity or the complementarity principle is strengthened, how it develops, what the court's role is, particularly in the, what's called sometimes positive complementarity, needs a lot of study. The other issues are, and discussion, I think this is a great time to reflect back. I think there's uh, a natural uh, a partnership that we can engage in because the Commonwealth has tremendous credibility, ICTJ has tremendous credibility. We're both interested in the rule of law, justice agenda.